chloride. Now let's go over the electrolyte chloride. The chloride balance is very important. Chloride is a major anion of the extracellular fluid with normal values ranging from 95 to 108 milliequivalents per liter. Chloride moves in and out of the cell with sodium. It is involved in regulating the acid-base balance. A balanced chloride level is very important. Let's see what happens when your chloride level is imbalanced. Hypochloremia. This is a decreased level, less than 90 milliequivalents per liter. Causes. Hypochloremia can be caused by diarrhea, vomiting, respiratory losses, nasogastric tube suctioning, and conditions such as Addison's disease and renal failure. Clinical manifestations can include muscle hypertonicity or spasticity, hyponatremia, muscle weakness, muscle twitching, a high fever, and sweating. Nursing management. IV administration of normal saline or half strength normal saline can be administered as ordered. You can also administer oral potassium, which will also help the chloride level. Nurses can also encourage their client to consume a diet that is rich in potassium and sodium. Hyperchloronemia. Hyperchloronemia is elevated levels of chloride in the blood. This can be caused by administration of sufficient amounts of IV normal saline, diarrhea, kidney disease, overactivity of the parathyroid gland, use of drugs such as diuretics, clinical manifestations. Your patient could experience vomiting, diarrhea, elevated blood sugar levels, Cushmal breathing, weakness, and intense thirst. Nursing management. If your client is dehydrated, establish and maintain adequate hydration. You would also want to have medications discontinued that exacerbate hyperchloronemia. You want to encourage your client to limit their intake of sodium-rich foods. Now, let's go over some NCLEX style questions pertaining to chloride. Question number one. Which of the following is known as a positively charged electrolyte? A, chloride, B, cation, C, phosphate, and D, anion. Cations are positively charged electrolytes, and the major cations are sodium and potassium, just to name a few. Anions are negatively charged electrolytes, and chloride and phosphate are included in the major anions, making the correct and final answer option B. Question number two. Which of the major cations and anions dominate in the extracellular fluid? A, potassium and phosphorus, B, sodium and potassium, C, chloride and bicarbonate, or D, sodium and chloride. Sodium and chloride are the major cations and anions that dominate the extracellular fluid. Potassium and phosphorus are dominant in the intracellular fluid. Sodium and potassium are cations and chloride and bicarbonate are both anions. Making the final and correct answer option D. In the next video, we're going to go over the last electrolyte that we're going to have a video on, which is phosphate.